Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about this building. So it's not lesson about mass form, but we will do the mass form. And your second question, if it's not uh, mass form, so how come we will create this building? I will show you one thing and I think you already know what I'm speaking about. I'm speaking about Dynamo. As you can see, I already have some the shape of this, uh, of this building. Uh, but I did it not manually, I did it with Dynama. So let's I'll show you. Here is Dynama, as you can see, uh, I will close the, this picture because you already know this building. And I'll show you how to work in Dynama and we will create in this movie this building. Let's say here I will change something like this and I'll say run. And as you can see it's changing direct, directly in Revit. So we can make like this something, as you understand. I can make any changes now in Dynama and it's straight away going to derive it. So if you're interested in how we can create it and how it's working, let's start. The first thing what I want to say to you, this is will be for free. I mean this uh, Dynama script, if you don't wanna create it uh, with me in this video, you can go directly to the my gum store and you will find it there for free. So you can go there, download it and use it to create so whatever, do whatever you want. I hope you will be happy. But those who want understand how this working. So don't leave me. Let's watch this video. Let's I'll show you. And after that, you will understand uh, straight away how this, uh, uh, this script is working. So the first thing what we will gonna do, we will create new blank project. So as you can see, this is my uh, Revit without any project. Let's open, let's create first, we will create a uh, project uh, just for where we will uh, load our family. So this is our blank project and nothing here. Let's go again to the file, new, let's find family. And you should find here metric generic adaptive point. So let's find it, uh, metric generic model adaptive. So I want uh, exactly this template. So let's open up it. And here we are. So uh, now we will work on only in Dynamo. So we'll go to the manage, find here the Dynamo and we will switch now our work to the Dynamo. So just wait because sometimes it's taking time. Uh, I highly recommend you use Dynamo 1.3 or 2.0 and higher. Uh, this is really cool to to get some uh, some new features. Okay, so here we are. So, and the first thing which we should create, we should create two numbers. So let's create two numbers. Uh, just double click and let's write here the one and double click, let's write here the zero. So you not understand why we should have the blocks one and zero, I will show you now. Uh, now we need sequences. Let's find the sequences, sequences. Here are the sequences. It means uh, we will start from the zero. So let's put it here. And we will finish, uh, no, I mean, we will start from the zero and we will make the step by one. So one by one. And after that, I need the, uh, I need the, no, this one. The just here we will write slider. Let's find the slider, sl slider, sorry. Here is our slider and let's put it here. So now you cannot see anything, uh, but you will see soon. So no worries about that. And uh, the next thing we need the reference point. Let's find the reference point. Here we should write reference. Reference point by coordinates. Reference point by coordinates. This one, uh, yes, yes, this one. Uh, so let's connect our sequence to X and now we need one more slider. I will copy this one. Just Ctrl C, Ctrl V and let's connect it to the e Y and after that I need to write the formula to Z because our curve will be go like by sinus. So we need formula for that. Let's find, let's find the formula here. Aha, uh -huh, formula is here. So you can find comment uh, just by right click 
and search here or you can search in this place it doesn't matter which one you will use uh, so i will change automatic to manual uh, because if you will make some wrong so may, uh, dynamo can be crushed so and let's write like um, x uh, or x square sin sinus and f let's write like r okay so nice let's connect it here and now we need uh, two more things we need two more sliders uh, let's i will create again i will copy this slider and i will copy this slider to again so now we need to make some changes in slider for this slider i will make uh, let's say the maximum it will be one and step it will be uh, zero one and let's make it like zero zero four let's say and we will connect to the f here uh, here we'll do the same thing but till the 10 let's do the do the till the 10 and step will be one and let's connect it to the x to the r we will uh, put the sequences let's put the sequences let's say run we cannot see anything, of course we cannot see anything, but if we will change something, you will see the changes. Let's uh, let's make, for example, for now, uh, we already have this one, it's already connected here, and we need curve, but not now. Let's make some changes. Run, and here I will say like this, and here I will say not just one point, because now you can see only one point. Let's say I want 50 points, and let's run it. And as you can see, we get our curve. Now I will change here the slider by one. Now you can see this is X, uh, X uh, side. And here I will change, for example, from the one to the, let's say five and run. As you can see, it's already looks like our shape. So you can play around with these all settings. Uh, it's, it's not hard for you, I think. And now we, uh, your main question, how we can create the curve between all these dots. And my answer is use curve by point reference. So this one. No, it's by, yeah, yeah, curve. Curve by points, reference points, yes. Uh, let's write it here, and we need boolean. Let's write bool, and we will find boolean. What does mean boolean? True or false? So, true, yes, we need the curve between all that. And as you can see, we get the curve. This is really cool, so what we're gonna do next? Next, we need, uh, we should get the second line. Uh, so, let's create the second line. Uh, I will put the slider here and I will create the second line. How I can create it? Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I just copying. And as you can see, we get the same slider, same slider of the number of sequences. So uh, total our uh, sequences is 50. And I will, if I will say run, we cannot say anything. Yes, this is true because the X, uh, uh, oh, oh, sorry, uh, Y axis is the same. So let's change, for example, to the 50. No, 50 is too much. Let's say 15 because we are using here like a meters. And as you can see here, our shape, you cannot see anything, but I will do it for you guys closely. Let's, let's do like this. Now you can see difference, right? Uh, if I will say here, for example, uh, 33, you can see it's going more far. Let's say we will we will uh, leave it like uh, 15. So, uh, and now, as you can see already, we should connect these two curve lines. But before we will do that, we have two different two different lines and two different curve line. So we should connect it. How we can do that? We should get the list list of our curves. So here will be a list of our curves. Uh, let's connect item one to the zero and item two to the to the one. And if I will run, you will see under this list to this curve. So we can create now between two this curve uh, some geometry. Let's do it. For this one, we should use the loft. Uh, let's find the loft here. Loft. Uh, okay, I have the by loft this one. I hope not. It's not this one. It looks everything. It's here looks same. Aha, this one. So this is loft uh, form by loft. 
So, and as you can see here, the curves. So let's connect our curves here and let's run it. And as you can see, nothing changed. Uh, this is totally wrong because we should now uh, hide our Dynamo. Let's hide it and let's go closely to the our Revit model. And as you can see, our shape is here. So, uh, as you can see, this is models now so small, but you can change it by using uh, Dynamo. You can change the, of course, the points, not 15. For example, you can type here the 1500 and many, many other things you can change it. But still, you get your shape and now you can for example, divide it as you want. And for example, let's say I want to divide this, divide this thing. I already have some uh, change with the network and I'm going back here and let's say I want to change, okay, numbers, uh, this one, and let's make it a bit higher. And here I will do a bit less, like this and like this, and let's run it. And as you can see, we get here this shape like this. Uh, here it's more curly, here it's more like heels, so smooth. And we get this result here. Wait, oh, my, my, my small <laughs> building. So let's choose it. And of course, we can again divide by surface. And as you can see, this is really smooth and we can use it in our project. So by this way, you can create uh, the building what I showed it to you before. Uh, with Dynamo. This is really easy now, as you understand. And I hope you can create your own uh, your own building by the script. So uh, now you understand why you need the math uh, to architecture. I know most of you don't know like how you can use, for example, formula to creating some shape. But I'll show you one thing more today. So let's say this is bonus content. So if you want get some unique shape by Dynamo, but you don't know how to create it. For example, you don't know how to create it without a formula, right? I will give you one ebook so you can download it. So this is really cool book. Uh, here you will find everything about the formulas and the some unique uh, forms. Let's say like forms you want to create. It's uh, like something like this spiral. So you can see how it's how you can calculate here. And you will find here more interesting form like this for and many, many, many other things like this one, this one, this one. You can see this is really simple, but uh, the first question, how you can create it by formula. So you will find in this book, book, if you want to download this book, just go to the link below. This is totally free. Get it and use it uh, and use it in your Dynamo. So be your skill improved. Uh, but for now, this is uh, that's it, guys, and I think this is, was helpful for you. So, as I said, this uh, uh, Dynamo script you can download it uh, in my Gumroad. It's totally free, no worries. So it means zero bucks. So it means you can just type the zero and download it for free. Uh, who those who want to create, just watch slowly, and I hope you will get how to do that. Uh, that's it for today, and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.